Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen, my name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man Army of Turan, where we are beating the game on the highest difficulty with only two soldiers and two soldiers only permission. I, I was away for a bit, uh, unfortunately some funeral uh, came, uh, came up, so I needed to take care of uh, some of the less pleasant topics in life. However, we're back and today I wanted to focus on Guerrilla Ops and our next mission. When we take a look, and first of all, one important uh, other message, thank you so much for the feedback that you guys are providing down in the comment section. One of the feedbacks was please in, increase the recording quality, which from now on I will do. So it should be HD from now on. Please uh, also provide feedback if that increases uh, your viewing pleasure. Second uh, feedback that we received is uh, when you take um, the Reaper Sniper combination, please make sure um, that there is enough damage in the team. And I couldn't agree more with that assessment. Unfortunately, um, they are not the strongest DPS team. Keep in mind, both of them as a combination were drafted for non-timed missions, so it's a bit of an unfair comparison to throw them into timed missions and then expect them to do likewisely well. However, I uh, upgraded uh, both of uh, them at Galen Poe, now has kill zone and therefore should be able to uh, dish out some very decent damage if we get a good kill zone up and uh, Dragonova has Banish, which is an ability that allows her to once in a while unload her entire magazine and effectively deal a lot of damage. I'm looking forward for to utilize both of these abilities, as I think uh, they could uh, be highly beneficial for us. So let's see if we can if we can pull it off. We need to infiltrate a device, which is a difficult uh, task for both of them. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. We got a third um, trooper with us. Only nine hit points, but nonetheless good. So Brian Hawkins is going to join us. Good job, Brian. Welcome to the team, man. We can use you specifically because Brian can take the device and give Eltrana Dragonover a chance to remain in stealth, which is super important because one of the reasons why I originally didn't want to draft that team for this specific mission is um, as soon as you are taking the device, you're effectively no longer able to stealth with Dragonover. And that's unfortunate because so much of her kit really depends on her ability to stealth. Anyways, we are aggressively moving forward. Yeah, I think we do have a pretty solid position here. Only nine rounds, so we also need to keep it somewhat short and snappy. This guy is standing just outside of uh, the explosive range of the car. Maybe the mech will remain in range doesn't seem that way unfortunately okay we don't have the time to to wait for them so might as well pull them now and see if one of them moves behind the car Galen Poe wouldn't be seen here. Brian on the other side probably needs to stay a little bit back. If we're going to move to here, yeah, that should that's still fine, but I'm worried to uh, to pull the other pack. 
Anyways. Let's get this started. Nice little extra damage. Interestingly enough, these guys were triggered. But I don't know why. Was Brian in range? No, he wasn't. To be honest, that's very strange. Yeah, so we're going to try to pick uh, the priest off. Main targets need to be somewhat priest and max for now. Do we have an idea? Hmm, 13 to 15. That's not enough to automatically kill him. Which I. The idea was to kill. The mag, get death from above, and then continue getting another action. Fortunately, this is not how it's going to work. How many shots could we take with the face off? That's three, which isn't the worst. Yeah, let's explore. Let's, let's explore the face off option. So we're softening up the mech. Now our number one priority is to definitely make sure that the mech is going to die, which face-off is going to ensure. All of the other shots here are bonus damage. Good. Looks like a charm. Again, advanced teamwork. To optimize our turns, because Dragonover only needed one turn for the remote start here. Watch closely. This brings the priest down to one HP. We could be an asshole and just shadow fall, basically becoming invisible, which means everything then falls back to Brian Hawkins, who has two moderately amused enemies basically rushing at him. His position isn't too bad though, because both of them will have tactical analysis, which is a good thing. Um, uh, they can only take one turn, which specifically for the stun lancer means he can't just run up and completely overpower Brian. The priest, however, could theoretically stasis. He couldn't mind control. He's out of range to reach um, Edgar Alien Pole. Yeah, and I think 60% is pretty solid. Nice, good shot. All right, six points of damage, it's a secure kill, that's a maybe, so we're going to take the priest. Could be sustenance, or could just be a kill. That was solid, okay. Oh boy, we're down to one HP. Still need him, so don't kill him, guys. Alright, 100 
percent chance to hit. This here is going to be a flanking position. We don't want to go too far because there is still a Spectre in the Codex. We've seen that already. They were here the last round. So this here should soften the Priest up. Wow, yeah, it softens him up quite a lot. Six points of damage, okay. So this here actually could be a hit, a kill. Yeah, Edgar and Paul is on fire today. I like it. So that's two packs out of the way, and we've just started. Oh, that's bad news. Three Archons on top of this building. That's bad news. All right, nonetheless, I'd like to go up here and have a better look. Damn, we just pulled the pack. I mean we could get we could get rid of the uh, codex right away. Spectre is a bit of a different problem. Hmm. We are still having Sting as an option to take a normal shot. Face off is gone for now. We're on cooldown. So we can't really we can't really risk to let uh, the codex multiply. I'm on the move. Moving into a bit better position. Let's see how for how much we would hit him. Well, that's a pretty solid shot. Not going to lie. And that's a hundred percent chance of hitting him. It's also really, really good. I do have an idea. It's a bit wasteful, but it is probably going to work. Okay, so that will give us death from above. We can now use our second advanced teamwork. And since Edgar Alienpo has one action, the second action will fill it up for another sniper shot, which is enough to kill the Codex. Yeah, in hindsight, it was a pretty decent move but it, took, it costed us uh, the second uh, teamwork. We're going to reload to because go. next round I am intending to blow this here up. Uh, and uh, use some kill zone. Reloading. Reload it.
Okay. Let's see if Saiken can make a decent play with the kill zone. Nice little claymore. Should take away all of uh, the obstacles. One hit and a miss, and another miss, which is very, very unfortunately, uh, very, very unfortunate. I was hoping we wouldn't be spotted out. They do have tactical analysis, which still means they're going to take additional shots now. That's why I'm not immediately concerned. But I, but I think probably Dragonova will take one hit. It's very likely. Things are getting dark. Some part of the issue here is Despite a 100% chance to hit, we were missing two of the Overwatch shots, uh, which comes back to... Oh, nice. They, uh, they missed the shots for Dragon... Um, Atrana survived. Which comes back to the, uh, to the rule that you cannot hit 100% of the Overwatch shots. It's capped at 80%. So that's why this didn't work. Are we going to be able to maneuver ourselves up there? I'd hope so. If we were to put up the Wrath suit. This here looks like... Yeah, I think from here we should be able to uh, grapple ourselves upwards. Which is desperately needed, because we need to save Voltrana. There we go. That is the grapple option I was looking for. Because we are out of ammunition. Four to seven. Okay. Could also shadow fall. Now I think we're going to stay visible for now. Also, shadow fall can't crit, which is an inherent problem. The crit was was well needed. All right, Dragonova is a bit injured now, so might be a bit more careful than normally. Oh, wow, yeah. Mm -hmm. Got it. All right, Brian's moving over. Not too shabby. Well, let us play it safe and somewhat calm, please. Because we still have time, and this is a serious pack. So if I were to position myself here, 
they wouldn't be able to see me. Hmm. There's really no good cover up here, really other than that. And the inherent problem with moving to here is we're going to be spotted up, right? Right. So first things first, I think we need to reload. Secondly, unfortunately, the car over here is already has already been detonated. So let's make sure we're staying still very well hidden. So far, they wouldn't know where anyone is. Let me correct my statement. Now they do know that someone's on the rooftop. And that someone is going to disappear. Thanks for renewed concealment. Brian here desperately needs a good position to to not be ambushed. They do have tactical analysis, which means if we are putting Brian just over here, that'll be fine. Still has two more turns. So yeah. Don't want to lose him, and with one hit point it's difficult enough. Okay, okay, two more turns. Looking at one, two, three. That's a good start. We still got dual strike ready. So I would say we are going to face off to kill everything other than the um, gatekeeper. Gatekeeper takes some really solid damage. And everyone is now dead. That's good. Solid start. Next up, we're opening the door. And I would actually like to dual strike him. Nice little blood trail. We're not even being revealed. And this might be the kill. Yep, thanks to Dual Strike. And the fact that you are not needing... When you're Dual Striking, you're not needing uh, actions on the second person that shoots. So Edgallion Poe basically got a, sh a shot for free. Is secure. Move on the target before the charge is detonated. Whew. Way more difficult mission than I would have expected, to be honest. We've got access. Tag Status confirmed. All hostiles. 
I mean, it worked quite well, just from the damage output. I think that actually was pretty good. The only time when it was really, really, really close was uh, when two bad things happened at once. Number one, despite their tactical analysis, the Archons unfortunately spotted out um, our Reaper. Yeah, and that could or could not have happened. And secondly, despite having almost 100% odds, so you can't have more than 80% on reaction shots, but despite having 80% uh, chance, we were missing three of the reaction shots, three out of six, which is a bummer if you think about it. Another impressive effort, Commander. My expectations were high, and yet you have exceeded them. Pretty good. Fear of Archons, all right. So, Altrana, I think she has, besides being gravely wounded, she has a panic against Archons, which it's pretty bad, so we need to remove that. Moving on generally, I think the last time... I think the last time we wanted to make contact up here. Yeah, that might have been the case. But beforehand, we wanted to build a, a radio station there. Oh yeah, I remember. We wanted to uh, build the radio station Avenger, and get the asserted destroyed. loot. Just from an engineering standpoint, I mean, we just got an engineer. Is there any further position where we could put the engineer in? Yeah, we could go for some resistance communications, but we don't need that really at the moment. Results of our breakthrough were quite fascinating. Good. Um, we are. We have uh, reduced cost for the communication terminals. That's good. I know. I was waiting for it because we were short on supplies. Okay. Now I'm back. Mentally and Viper King. Uh, Viper King autopsy is definitely what we're going to do uh, go for next. It immediately resolved, which means we can get the Viper suit. Huge lead for us. We can't continue. Oh no, wait a second. It's just one day. I thought we almost instantly got it. I misread. Anyways, once we got the Viper King, we can go for his armor. When inspired, our team is actually quite efficient. Despite an extensive study of Thank Dr. you, Ballin's Serpent Suit. I love it. I have yet to discover how she came to acquire such an impressive understanding of the process. Additional weapon upgrade slot. Editing, um, yes. We're immediately doing that. I will send word as soon as we have something of note. And here, I would like to begin. The white pursuit. Matter of fact, word when the project is complete. that's number one priority. Good. Let's keep it rolling, boys. We are moving. I think we had an ambush for on our Avenger upcoming. So I'm a bit ver uh, varied about it. Superior hair trigger. Yeah, that was okay. In terms of next steps... How long does Dragonova need in order to get ready again? Because I know we wanted 
yeah, four more days. So once she's ready, we're going to invade the next uh, alien facility. We have a couple of them ready to go. One very prominent over here. Yeah, we were lacking the supplies. Okay, it all begins to make sense now. And since we are lacking the supplies, shortly visit the black market and see if we can sell something for this month. Yeah, a couple of stun monsters, yes. I would keep the alien alloys. And wait until they are interested in in the remainder. We actually don't need the advanced stock, so we can also sell that. Purchase-wise, superior stock is good. Laser side is also nice, but I'm looking more for extended um, extended magazine and scope. So. Only a couple more days. We're almost done with the bond training, as well as a, a very important breakthroughs. So in the meantime, let's scan for some ad additional income. Very soon, many important events will happen. I wasn't. I wasn't sure that it's going to be so soon but yeah here we go another avenger uh, defense mission i'm going to prepare that for uh for the um for the next mission and i'm going to see you um, within the next mission just one short uh, request before we depart uh, if you like the video give it a thumbs up i really appreciate feedback also towards video quality edit, um, editing commentary whatever uh, it is that you have feedback uh, for and uh, i'm trying to upload videos more regularly now as as we go as we go maybe once in a or twice a week again thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video bye bye